Good afternoon. Um, this is Dr. Noel Rizdale, and I'm giving you, uh, welcome you guys to uh, 540, BA 540, Organizational Ethics. Um, and I was going to take a few minutes just to kind of introduce myself and introduce the course, um, just to kind of give you a um, kind of give you the lay of the land, so to speak. Um, I'm currently um, teach both um, bachelor's and uh, master's courses. Typically, I teach uh, organizational behavior um, as opposed to organizational ethics, which is where we're at now. Um, but I also teach leadership and a couple of others. Um, I have an extensive history in, um, in the hospitality industry, um, in management for almost all of that. So i um, been up in Limestone about a year and a half, and some of you guys will probably see me again in um, organizational behavior, um, which is coming up in term three. Um, so this is a new year, and of course we have new changes. Um, one of those changes is the fact that we have um, we have a new Canvas. Uh, we have Canvas, which is our new operating system. So we will uh, kind of. I'm going to kind of give you an idea of what the course looks like and how to navigate it, so that way we can kind of move forward. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen here, um, so we can take a look at that. And here we go. So what we're going to see here, as you can see from, from this is, this is what's going to, it should be what you see when you come into the course, okay? We have um, some Adams over here, dashboard, which is where all your courses are. You can also click on here and that'll show all your courses on um, here. It's just showing um, this one at the moment because I'm in the student view. So this is the organizational. So you can click on here, but uh, any other course, if you have another course, it would also appear in here. So you would see that um, that's operating currently. Um, if you clicked on all courses, you would also see anything that you were taking next term. But right up here is going to be anything that's published and ready to go. Now, I published this course last night. And so you can I, most of you can see it. Um, and this is what you're going to see when you open the course. So what we have here on the left hand side are some things that you'd look at things like grades that's where the grade book will be modules, which is you don't really necessarily need to do I've kind of left it there. Um, for you guys to take a look at these are the people that are in the course, you can see those and um, see here you'll click on that and you'll go to people, these are all the people who are in the course with us. Um, the. Yeah, the only one you'll there is one other person. Dr. Sharp is also in the course as a designer. Um, we have Office 365, Google Drive. Those are all kind of um, we'll get to those as we go forward. The announcements in here, you'll see the couple of announcements I sent out yesterday talking about discussions and um, a little bit of a welcome um, message. Um, the syllabus you're going to find under obviously under syllabus. OK. And you click on that, it's going to open up. And you can see in here, um, both my contact information is in there now. Um, but you, you'll see, a, um, you'll see, else it will also be here under home. So the easiest way to navigate this course really is to stay on the home page because here it's all divided in weeks for you, um, all the way down to eight. Um, we do have some tutoring and some things at the bottom here if you need them, the library. Um, all those links are at the bottom. The uh, and you can see that the course is laid out in weeks. You can see everything. Also, your to-do list here. Um, I will be in the process of setting up the rest of those due dates um, over the next week or so. But I did get week ones done, so we can go ahead and go go forward. Um, so that you've actually got these due dates here um, ready to go. Now the next. So I, up here, you have my contact information. Okay, um, that's my office number. It rolls right back into, um, it will all come over to my cell phone, so that's not a problem. Um, I'm pretty accessible most of the time by email or by phone. Mostly, it's, I'm more accessible by email. Um, usually get back to you really quickly. Um, this is where this, this video is going to be um, once we finish it. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit, um, it's gonna be under the welcome message. The Ask the Professor is here. So this is areas where you can hit the reply button here and you can ask me any general question that you would like. 
Um, you know, I'm not sure how the discussion would work. Or I'm not quite sure what you're looking for in the discussion area. All of those kind of, um, that kind of information is all good to ask those questions in here. What you don't want to ask in here is things like, okay, I, I got this grade on this assignment and I'm not sure what, uh, wh how you're looking at this. That is much better and much more suited to be emailing me, okay, directly, okay? And that way I can go ahead and respond to you directly. Okay, so as we go down through here, um, we go into, um, this is um, for the exam that we'll be taking. This is, uh, gives you an idea of how to set up Proctorio if you haven't already. Um, and we'll be, uh, I have a video that I'll be putting up uh, a little bit closer to that time frame that'll help you out with that as well. Um, week one, first thing you would like to do is let's go ahead and get an introduction done. Um, I have posted mine, okay? This kind of gives you an introduction to me. Um, and this is kind of crucial um, in when we're, when we're doing an ethics class, okay? Um, I always view this as, as crucial because ethics is always framed by how we view things. And how we view things is, is goes in, there's a lot of factors that go into that. Not be, notwithstanding your background, your educational background, your um, where you grew up, your family values, um, your socioeconomic status, all of those things are key to us understanding where your viewpoint might be coming from. And that's really kind of key as we look and go through these discussions is understanding that ethics does not have a right or wrong answer. It's right as far as you were concerned. And what we're looking for here is justifications for that argument and basing those in some kind of fact or knowledge. So um, that's why I look at the bio as much, much more important in an ethics class as it is in some of the other ones. Now going back to the home, okay? So that's, the, that's really gonna be over the next few days. Um, you'll see an outline, which kind of gives you just a general idea of what we're doing here. Week one, we're gonna be looking at chapter three in the textbook, okay? Um, you know, you've got the Hartman Reconciliation Business Ethics article, um, some, method, some advice from Aristotle, a great philosopher. Um, we've got some PowerPoint slides. Um, and then these are your discussion questions that are, um, are gonna be due for this week. Uh, at this point, I'll kind of tell you the way the course is, is divided. You've got the first basically four, five weeks, okay? Um, basically, the first four weeks is all about the discussion, okay? As you can see here, for the first four weeks, we've got discussions um, that we're going to be taking a look at. Um, this one here is an ethical, these are your three questions, okay? Um, ethical reflection, nothing but nothing personal, just business and virtues. Those are what I've titled those questions, okay? So you just click on that. <coughs> Excuse me. And you'll list, uh, list six to eight um, virtues that you believe that work, uh, are important in the workplace. This is list and explain, okay? So basically you're gonna take those six or eight virtues and then you're going to write a small paragraph over each one of those. So you'll need about a paragraph. So that's gonna be about a page and a half. Your post should be about a page and a half here, um, page to page and a half, depending on how it is. Not just three, not just give me a list of six, uh, six virtues. I wanna see those virtues and you need to explain what you mean by those, okay? In a short paragraph, okay? <clears throat> and this is kind of the, the tone it'll take for the, for the rest of the thing. So we'll go back, you can use the back button here. Um, we'll go to here, nothing personal, just business. Okay, how do you respond to somebody's decision that might adversely affect you by saying it's not personal, it's just business? I've heard this plenty of times in my career Okay, so I'm interested in hearing about this. This again should be something that's not two sentences. It should be roughly half, three quarters of a page. Okay, um, and you need to, this is a master's level class. So you're gonna wanna see, we wanna see some depth here, um, some thought process. So you're gonna really need to kind of think about, about those types of things when you're making those, those things. So basically the first week is all about the, it was all about the discussion. Okay, and actually for the first four weeks. Um, so the first four weeks you've got there, and what you're going to need to do is you'll need to make your initial post, 
Um, those are due on Wednesdays at midnight each week. Um, and then you'll find on Thursday, I'll be going through and making the major comments to each one of these. Okay. Now, um, does that mean I won't make comments over the weekend or things like that? No, but Thursday I'll be going through and answering um, and commenting on these and maybe getting asking you questions and doing those types of things. So Thursday I'll be working the discussion boards. Uh, so, but after that, you know, you guys will also need to comment to two of your, um, the two of your peers, read them. And again, this has to be more than a one to two sentence item. Okay, this needs to be three to four sentences. It can't be, I agree with you. It needs to be, I agree with you because of X, Y, and Z. Okay, you need to be able to justify your answers or I disagree with you for X, Y, and Z answer reasons. Okay, and really get down in there and really dive into that. Okay, um, you'll need to make those, those all actually need to be done and posted by Monday evening. Okay, by, by midnight. Okay, so basically your deadline's here and you'll see here, this is the deadline for the initial post. Um, and then every Monday night at midnight, the, your discussions will need to be posted. On Tuesday, I will actually go through and grade the discussions. Um, so you'll see those in the grade book pop up as we get into, as we go into Tuesday. So Tuesday's grading, Thursday's discussions. And if you need me any other time during the week, um, I'm available, that's not a problem. Okay, so week two is pretty much the same as uh, week, uh, week one, week three, week four, those are all this. Once we get to week five, okay, and the one thing that's not in here yet is the, or has been exposed yet, it's actually in there. Week five, there will be a test popping up, okay, um, and that's the exam for the course. Okay, so you'll see that happening in here in week five. Um, and um, that also, that's also where the proctorio comes in and the rest of that. So week five is the exam and you can need to start looking ahead for your casework, okay? So we have um, basically three cases um, that we're looking at, okay? So we're looking at Chiquita Bananas called the Blood Bananas case, okay? Um, that is in week six. Week seven is the Sears case Okay, and then week eight is the Martin Marietta case. All three of these um, are in, you'll be doing these in a group format that you'll need to kind of allow me to, you'll have to get to me um, over the next couple of weeks. And then I will set you guys up and I can set you guys up in a group where you can kind of co you can kind of um, basically converse back and forth inside the shell here. Um, but at the very least, you still have to let me know who you're going to be doing it. Um, I haven't really decided which week I'll probably, probably the end of next week, maybe beginning of week three, I'll be looking for that. Um, and then I'll, set, I'll be setting a deadline. And once that deadline is there, if you haven't gotten a group, then I will assign you one. Okay. I, I'm a big proponent of you can choose who you want to work with um, in this case, um, but you're going, to need to, you're going to need to let me know who that is. So all the way through here is you're going to have to work up the case, you're gonna post the case, and then you're gonna to have to need to comment to both of those. Plus you will turn the case into me, okay? That's where you'll turn this in here, this one here, as a place for you to actually go and upload it. See here, it says submit assignment at the top. Um, so that kind of gives you an overview. There won't be a last week final in this case. It's gonna be more, the last week is just the Mar Marietta case posting and then your discussion of that. So as we get into the latter half of the course, it's all, it's one discussion over where you post your paper as a group and then we'll, and we go through and discuss that. So this kind of gives you a, a quick rundown on how things work um, in the course. If you, uh, if you have any questions about this going forward, feel free to contact me. I'm certainly here to help you get through this. And I look forward to working with you and seeing you guys all in class for the next eight weeks. I hope everybody has a great day.